Thousands of people in Alabama have received their first dose of COVID vaccine, yet some people are still hesitant due to the quick process of creating and approving the vaccine. Today, the dean of UAB School of Medicine in Huntsville broke down the process that took place in order to make this vaccine and many vaccines before it. Our Nixon Norman gives us those details. The two vaccines that are approved right now under emergency use authorization are the Pfizer and the Moderna, both of which are using this mRNA technology. The first step in this process of approval is called the preclinical phase. Before these vaccines even uh, get injected into the first person, there are, there are many, many trials that are done in lab animals and in Petri dishes. They are looking for side effects, fertility effects, and dangerous reactions. Once this step is clear, it's on to phase one. Phase one is a, involves very brave, small group of people this is like 20 to 100 people who say, I'm willing to take this vaccine that's never been given to a human. This phase's primary goal is looking into the safety of the vaccines in humans and whether these people form antibodies against the virus or not. If antibodies were formed, then it's on to phase two. Phase two is usually several hundred, like probably close to a thousand volunteers where they're doing the same thing, but still looking for, are there side effects we missed in the small group? Are, and how's the immune response? After all that, phase three takes place. In the past, this phase usually takes the longest, but because the virus is sadly running rampant, it has been made a lot easier to get it done quickly due to emergency use authorization. Phase three is the double blind vaccination. So that means you get your volunteers and you get them to agree to take either a placebo injection or the vaccine. And then they go out into public, they live their life, and they're exposed like all of us. Once you have a certain number of people infected, you stop, you break the code, and you look at, okay, who among those that got infected had gotten the vaccine and who had gotten placebo? Putting the Valley first, Nixon Norman, WZDX News.